Before we get into the video, I want to give a big thanks to EA for giving me an early access code to this pack. If you haven't already, go and check out me and my fiance's gaming channel. The link will be in the description. Hey guys, it's Fantasia and welcome to my gameplay for, uh, or gameplay video <laughs> for my first pet stuff. So, um, I'm going to, this is going to be an overview because I don't think I can show everything. So I did find out some more stuff, like there's a new death. Um, so we'll see if we see that, but I'm not sure, but there is a new death that has to do with these little critters. So basically it's like, um, something rabid something something and like your sims like I don't know get basically diseased <laughs> if like you don't have a good relationship with your little rodent and then you go and try to play with them while their cage is dirty like without cleaning it so then apparently they can you know get this disease and it's contagious so <laughs> you can you can die from it but you can also get medicine for it but it is contagious so be careful with that and then there's the little cute things that your little um critters can do so they can like like i don't know if you guys saw in the trailer they can get a rocket ship right here and they basically leave and apparently they can come back with postcards and stuff so those type of things i actually like like i think that's so cute so he has a little hedgehog here and then if you hover over his name's thimble right now so that's actually kind of cute so i'm gonna leave it but i think you can rename it um so hunger is full attention is content activity content so we can click i haven't done any of this so study rodent talk we can ask about day ask about rodents call names talk to and yell at um we can clean habitat which is not dirty feed fill food observe play with release and then you can rename so we're gonna go ahead and feed treat so that's what we're gonna do let's go ahead and watch um we have like the rest of our family we'll definitely you know have them do things too look how cute thimble is oh my gosh Ooh, this is cute wait oh my god you know, when you want to just see everything real close and personal. Oh my god. This house is not very good for, you know, watching. Because I want to, I want to like be this close and watch. Oh my god, look. So he's giving a little tree. Oh my god. Wait, that's adorable. <gasps> okay, the hedgehogs are really cute. I mean, <laughs> it may seem silly to be excited about this, but like I am. Because in The Sims 3, um, I was obsessed with the little cages we could get like this with animals. Yep. <laughs> so I want you to be like best friends with this little guy. So you can just talk to him. So I believe, um, let me see. Yes. Okay. So they do show up in the relationship here, which this looks really cute. So, um, yeah, they don't take up a slot in the household, but they do show up in a relationship, which I like. Um, let's play with him. <gasps> oh my God. Let's get a picture. Oh, <gasps> Look! Aww. How cute is that? Oh, <gasps> Look at the little noises they make. I don't know how well you guys can hear that, but that's cute. <gasps> so then he just puts them back. Oh, he gets a little moodlet. Okay. So he's playful. Rodent playtime. From uh, For a tiny rodent, a little playtime goes a long way. Um, okay. Let's observe and study. Sure. He wants to be, like, a pro, okay? This is his first pet. <laughs> He's very excited about this. Um, I did put some of the new stuff mixed with the cats and dogs stuff in this room, and it does go well together. So this is cats and dogs, cats and dogs. Um, my first pet stuff, my first pet stuff, my first pet stuff. <laughs> and then my first pet stuff is here. So, like, it matches this bed really well. So he just gained the creativity. Okay, cool. Oh, so he gets out a little book and he's gaining responsibility. That's cute. Homework complete. Wait, what? I'm confused. Um, content rodent. Reese is overcome with an overwhelming case of cuteness after watching his happy little critter scamper around its habitat. Oh, can the toddlers do anything? No, just renames. The toddlers can't do anything. Um, the adults, they should have like the same kind of stuff. So we'll have you come up here and I don't know, talk to and we'll have you play. Oh, look at him. <laughs> that's too cute. So he's up in the, oh my God, that's so cute. Can we, oh my God, 
We're in the cage. How cute is that? He's sleeping. <laughs> oh, look, he's just up here. How cute is that? Oh, so she's talking. Um, so cute. What is what is happening here? I didn't even notice this was here. What have I been like clicking? Oh god. <laughs> okay, let's end this. I'm sorry. I know. He is having such a fun time. <laughs> Look at him. He is just playing. I like that about this. Like, how cute. <gasps> Aww. Oh, wait. That looks different. Ah. Oh, my God. Are you kidding? Do it again. <laughs> Play. The little rodents, they look so happy. Like, how cute is that? <gasps> okay. So, there's that. That's how it looks on the adults. Like, interact with them. So, I'm gonna have her, like, come out here. Is the, um, free will off or something? Because, yeah, let's just have them do whatever they want, you know? Um, so there we go. Okay. So, I want them to be, like, I definitely want the little boy and his pet to be close. So, they're gonna keep talking. Tell secret to Thimble. How cute is that? <laughs> Um, she's gonna go and interact with the little toddler. Um, so apparently, like, the dogs may come, or the cats maybe, maybe they'll come in the room, I'm not really sure, and, like, sniff them or something. I'm really not sure. <gasps> oh. Oh, you're just talking. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> so we can, oh, set your rodent free to live in the wild. Okay, yeah, we don't want to do that. We're not gonna do that. <laughs> Oh my god, that would be that would be a sad day. Look how cute our dog looks with that new outfit. I really do like that one. Um, let's feed you a treat again. So how's our relationship looking? Um, they're getting their friends. <gasps> Are you meow? Oh no, you want attention. That's cute. <laughs> okay, so he's feeding him another treat. So cute. Um, so I may actually cut out and then come back when it's kind of like nighttime because apparently things happen. Um, you know, they may, they may get up to no good. So I really want to see that for this video. So yeah, I may cut out until, you know, it's bedtime and stuff and kind of see what happens. Oh my god, you guys. So I was just like, you know, playing around with the family and stuff um, through the day and now she has started fire. So that's great. You know, she's just on fire. <laughs> what is life? What's happening? Uh, route to safety. Okay, sure. Can you please take a shower? Oh my god. You know, the things that happen when you're reviewing a pack, like, yeah, you know, that's a thing. Can you please extinguish this? <laughs> Like, oh my god, everyone is panicking. Oh my god, you guys. Look at the dog. Look at them freaking out. Oh my god, poor babies. It's okay. Like, I like how they kind of freak out and let you know, like, a fire is happening. Hello. Um, <laughs> okay, you guys. So, yeah, I'm going to continue um, kind of, like, playing um, off camera a bit so that we can actually see if the rodent does anything at night. So right now he's just running around having a fun time and yeah, so, so far th this is going great. Oh my goodness, you guys. So everything bad's happening. <laughs> I've never had bad things happen like this in a, like a pack overview. Our dog is running away. Very sad. They were literally just giving the dog attention, but he's running away. Um, it's two in the morning and nothing has happened yet with this little guy. So yeah, his hunger is okay though. So we're gonna have to feed him. Okay, so he is drinking some water, which is super cute. Um, we're eating food, I guess. Yeah, it's like a food thingy. Um, that's cute. So, um, let's see. Um, there's still really nothing else. We don't have to clean it yet. And the, the he didn't do anything at night. So we're gonna just kind of, we'll probably, like, I, I do want to see if, like, something will happen. So we will kind of, you know, I'll skip through more time and just see if this little dude gets up to stuff. <laughs> okay, so this little guy, basically his attention is low and activity is low. So, um, let's try playing with him and talk and then ask him about his day. So that's what he's going to do. But seriously, <laughs> our cat is always at the top of this thing. Like, they won't eat they won't eat the rodent or anything, but they definitely have an interest in it. They kind of just, like, stay there. So, yeah, activity is low. So, hopefully, he'll get some activity. 
Um, let's feed him a treat. Where you going? Oh, I think he was just getting activity. I think he's getting some now. Oh, it's still low. Okay. Well, we'll see. Oh my goodness, you guys. So it says three, two, one, blast off. Fascinating. Thimble appears to be conducting experiments on reaching escape velocity from its habitat. Oh, <gasps> wait. <gasps> oh my God. This is cool. So let's see. Also, a dog came back. I don't know if you guys noticed, but yeah. <laughs> um, is anything going to happen? So he's sleeping right now. Is he going to go? I didn't see him go or anything. So I don't know. That's weird. Okay, so now I got this notification that says, thank you, Thimble. The doctors at the Sacred Spleen Memorial Hospital wish to express their gratitude to Thimble. 2018 it will be remembered in medical history, <laughs> okay, as the year that a fully functioning ear was grown on Thimble's back, which was then transferred to a sim suffering from Anotia. Here's to you, Thimble. Okay, I don't understand. I'm um, sure. <laughs> By the way, the toddler's fine, don't worry. Um, okay. Um, yeah. Okay, you guys, so <laughs> look how he's sleeping. The cage is filthy. Now, I'm gonna have him get up and actually clean it. Uh, no, 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 we're gonna try. No, 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 don't do that. No, don't clean it. That's cool, though. Um, because I'm gonna, I wanna try to do something. Oh, are you really gonna finish cleaning it? Okay. Did you just really just clean it? Or is it like half cleaned? Wow. Well, we're not going to see that, you guys. So, <laughs> oh my god. I wanted to see if he would get the, like, infection or whatever. But it is a thing. Your Sims can get an infection. I really wanted to see that. But he just decided to come and clean it. But at least we got to see how you clean the cage then. So, let's play with him. He hasn't tried to escape with, like, the rocket or anything. We may not get to see that. I mean, this is an overview. So, like, we will see these sort of things, like, in my Let's Plays. Obviously, these things happen, like, randomly, you know. So, <laughs> it may not happen in this video, I guess. But I really wanted to see if he could get sick. But he, it, hold on. How come we can't, like, fill the food, but, like, he's starving? Like, what? Also, like, the attention's low, so let's try to fix that up. Um, but yeah, you guys, so obviously they can escape. <laughs> um, so we have not seen that. So they can escape with the rocket. We've seen it in the trailer, though, so that's how it looks. They can bring back postcards. So at least you guys, I can, like, let you guys know this. Um, and then if the habitat is dirty and your sim doesn't have a good relationship with them and they try to play with them instead of cleaning it, then they can, your sims can basically get a disease, they'll be sick, it's contagious, they can either take medicine or if they don't, they can die from it. So I think that's pretty much it. Um, obviously, the gameplay item is this here. So, and then there's different ones, but it's all like, you know, the same things happen. So there's like the hamster and everything like that. And then, yeah, this is just some of the build and buy, but we've seen all that in the build and buy. If you guys haven't seen that, I have a create a sim and build and buy combined. So, um, yeah, you guys, uh, I, like I told you guys, I wish there was like maybe more, like a couple more clothing items, <laughs> um, just so that we could have an outfit that goes together. And then, um, I love the build and buy. Um, I have no complaints about that. And then the gameplay is pretty much like exactly what I expected. So I kind of knew what to expect with gameplay. I knew how this thing was going to be. It's very similar to, you know, like Sims 3, except this one has a little more things. So I wasn't expecting like a new death. So I am happy with that. I do like that they can do little things. Um, like, you know, they can escape and stuff like that. They can do things at night. <laughs> so that's kind of cool for like a fun little thing. Um, and yeah, so I do like this. Um, I will be using it for my little kids. I think it's cute. Um, could this have been included in Cats and Dogs? Of course, I've said this, um, but nonetheless, like, <laughs> like I've also said I would buy this because um, of the furniture items, and I wanted a little rodent so badly with Cats and Dogs 
So, I mean, obviously, if it comes in a stuff pack, I'm going to be like, oh, I wish this came with cats and dogs, but I would still want to get it because I want the rodent. <laughs> now, another thing is I do wish that we got um, things like bunnies and turtles like we had in The Sims 3, um, snakes, uh, lizards, just reptiles in general. You know, I wish we had all of that. That would have been so cool. Um, I am glad we at least get hedgehogs and hamsters um, and a rat which they're all like the same thing but like colored differently but that's how it was also in the sims 3 but i wish we also got you know animals that would behave a little differently like a turtle like you know swimming in the water uh, that's what they did in the sims 3 there was like water down here and they would swim that was really cool so i'm hoping that modders will make things like that i don't know though <laughs> i know that probably modders will do something maybe like make um i don't know a bunny or something because that could work um, with this kind of enclosure in ways. Not really this thing though. I don't know. We'll see what modders come up with. So yes, I do wish there was more little rodents and stuff like that and reptiles. Um, but I do think this pack is cute and I have like things I like about it, things I don't like about it, of course. Um, this pack was really unexpected. I will say that. <laughs> I was not expecting this out of nowhere. Um, I was expecting a game. Okay. But like when Cats and Dogs first came out, I was expecting a game pack with many different small pets, you know, like all the ones I just mentioned, like all of those. <laughs> so, um, yeah, a stuff pack was like, definitely not expected, but my favorite part still the build and buy. That's my favorite thing about it. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I want to know your thoughts down below. I know there's so many mixed opinions. Um, I totally understand them though. And, um, I, I, I would purchase this. Of course, you guys know I, I would, I, whether I got early access or not, I've always bought all the Sims packs. So yes, I do like it, but there is things that I wish maybe were a little different or things I wish we got, um, or, you know, wishing this was in cats and dogs and stuff like that so yeah you guys that's kind of like my final thoughts <laughs> um and look at the so cute. okay anyways <laughs> i'm rambling so that's kind of like my final thoughts i hope you guys enjoyed this little gameplay video um and hopefully we will see some more of the little cool things that this little dude does in my actual let's plays so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys are all having an amazing, amazing day. And don't forget to leave some positivity down below. I love you guys all so, so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. You gotta listen up, listen up. There's not a thing that I can get from you. Boy, I don't need that much, need that much.